One of the most common questions I get asked when it comes to making gold in Guild Wars 2 is, how do I decide what items to sell? That's a great question. The way I like to think about this is to consider my goals. What is it that I'm going for next? Not what am I making in a year's time, what I'm going for right now. Picking a goal is very important. If you try and do everything at once, then that's a great way to get nothing done. For example, if my goal is a legendary weapon, I'm not going to sell mystic coins, globs of ectoplasm, and tier 6 materials unless I've got more than I already need to make that legendary. After I've got enough, I can sell the excess to buy the other remaining materials that I still don't have. The real key here is understanding what resources you need to get what you want. This is quite straightforward for crafted items, as you can just check the recipe at the crafting station. But for complex Mystic Forge recipes, quite frankly, no sane human would do this in the game, because that would be painful, and quite hard to keep track of. Instead, simply look up whatever item you're after on the wiki, or even better, use the crafting features on GuildWars2Efficiency.com. GuildWars2Efficiency can even compare what you need to what you already have, so you know exactly what you need to buy. Wow. A really important direct consequence of this approach is the following. If you are going to be directly buying your goal on the trading post, say you want to buy some gems with gold or perhaps some exotic gear, then good news, your process on figuring out what to sell becomes very, very simple. Sell everything you've got because you don't need any materials. A real key to success is understanding that your gold is a resource. If you have a bunch of gold sitting around aimlessly, it's not really doing that much. So you don't need to mega sell everything until you have an idea about what you want to go for, so that you can spend gold to get what you want. Otherwise, you can just keep a bunch of materials around. You never know when some new goal will catch your eye, which might require stuff that you already have. And you don't want to just buy it back, do you? You can't know what materials you don't need if you don't know what materials you do need. That's not to say gold isn't powerful though. Having some gold lying around gives you some immediate flexibility with getting what you want. So a solid strategy is having a base of gold, like 50 gold, 100 gold, 200 gold, 1000 gold, or a million gold, and then spending gold when you are over that number, so you always have a good pool to draw from in times of need. After hearing that, you might be thinking, well that's great, but how do I pick a goal? Fully diving into that is a topic for another time, but just for now, I won't give the usual cop-out answer of, it doesn't matter, pick anything. I will instead half cop-out. Although it is true, because of Guild Wars 2's horizontal progression, you can't really make a decision that will truly ruin your hopes and dreams. Having a character geared up will let you clear content easily and far more efficiently, and unlocking the living story episodes will give you access to certain maps that are amazing for gold farming, especially Living World Season 4 and the Ice Brood Saga, while also being, well, content to play through and enjoy. The reason these purchases are a great place to start is because it's spending money to improve your ability to make more money, which in turn will help you get to future goals faster. However, after that set of core unlocks, it actually doesn't matter what you go for. And there you have it, my strategy on figuring out what to sell and when to sell it. Let me know if you have any questions, or if there are any particular topics that you'd like me to cover when it comes to getting things done in Guild Wars 2. Thanks for watching, hit the like button hard, invest in the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.